I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands at one time against one opponent. It's a nice option if your four-player game falls through. You could even play online at SiamesMahjong.com. Look for links in the video description below to the rules and a demonstration. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. The first will be player one and we'll get 28 tiles. The second will be player two and get 27. Then we'll be player one again and get 28. We have three jokers, a flower, a south, green dragon, pung of white dragons. Then in cracks we have one, five, six, seven, nine, pair of fives, pair of sevens. In dots we have a pair of twos, four, five, seven, eight, nine. And in bams we have two, five, seven, eight, nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, because of these dragons, I would try for the big year hand. That would be the year hand under singles and pairs. Then I would focus on five through nine. We need a flower, north, east, west, and another two and a white dragon. I think I would probably play another year hand as a backup because this is pretty light. It's fun to try though, so I would try. And I would keep the green dragon because there is a hand with red and green dragons with the year tiles. Down here. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one hand we could play. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And use these for the eight and nine. Another thing we could do is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Use the jokers for the missing eight. So I would keep probably I would keep five through nine, the cracks anyway, and then the big numbers in the other suits for options. Because we could do five, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have all the sevens and we have all the fives. So I think I would probably keep these two and discard those first and then see what comes in. But I think five through nine is what I would focus on there and then a year hand here. We could even do big odds, five, seven, seven, nine of some kind. Because we have no threes, I wouldn't try the concealed odd hand. We could use the one, but we have no threes. And we would have to let these go. Or do five, seven, nine, and then one, three, five with these. But you could see it's super light. I think consecutive run is better.
we have flowers white and red dragon east and west in cracks we have four five six seven eight nine pair of fours pair of sevens in dots we have three four eight pair of eights and in bams we have three five seven eight nine pung of sevens and eights if these were your tiles what would you focus on and what would be your first discards If these were my tiles, I think I would try for a pear hand with the matching dragon. One, two, three, four, five pair with the matching dragon. We need a five, six, and a red dragon. Three away. That's amazing. But then what do we do down here? I would focus on five through nine. Seven, eight, nine. If we get sixes, we could play five through nine. I would probably hold this for joker bait. There is a hand with east and west and eights, but that would dilute both of these hands. So I would focus on consecutive here, big numbers, and build up this pair hand. Six discards is not bad. I probably would discard wins first, then the dragon, and then these tiles. I wouldn't pick a hand here, not yet. If we get flowers, we could maybe play the second hand down if we let an eight go. If we get sixes, we could play the first hand. If we get green dragons, we could play seven, eight, nine dragon. Use this for joker bait, I think. Okay, we have a couple of jokers, a flower, white dragon, green dragon, pair, pair of north. Then in cracks, we have one, two, four, five, six, nine, pung of fours. In dots, we have one, two, three, five, seven, pairs, twos, and threes. In bams, we have one, two, five, six, eight. If these were your tiles. What would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try to push for a pure hand. One, two, three, four, five use these one two three four five depending on what happens Kong here and try to hold off on declaring this hand until this is pure because we can Kong here and then wait for the one but I would hold this as long as possible to try to get this to be pure. No jokers. That would be a 60 point hand. I was thinking maybe we could do a quint with fours. Dragon, four crack, 
jokers, but we have only one flower. We need five. And these jokers, we'd only need one for the four and one for the dragon. We would need a lot more flowers. So I think that's what I would try for here. Then with the remaining tiles, maybe try a year hand. A year hand or wins with dragons to leverage the multiples. I would primarily focus on this hand though, I think. Maybe keep the one. If a year hand doesn't work, we could maybe try for consecutive. In which case I might even keep the, the one crack. So I think I would discard these first. Play this hand pure if possible and then try for a year hand. Because you're playing with 28 or 27 tiles respectively, you can make just about anything work. But if you build around the strength of the hand and gather tiles that support the strength of the hand, you can set yourself up for success. When I get my dealt tiles, I look for multiples. If I don't have multiples, I look for the predominant pattern and then I gather tiles that support the strength and find a category to play that uses most of my tiles. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. And then when you feel you're ready, play online. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.